Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I'll be uh, going over the specific uh, engine error code P0306, which is the cylinder 6 misfire. Uh, so what really happened is, uh, I started the car uh, earlier in the morning and uh, the engine was riding very rough and immediately got the service engine soon on, on the dash. So I just ran the code and I got P0306, which is the cylinder 6 misfire. On top of it, uh, when the car was actually running rough, uh, there was all, uh, it could also smell uh, rich gas uh, smell coming out of the exhaust. So that implies that uh, one of the cylinder is not burning the fuel and it's just disposing the fuel through the exhaust. So there are only like uh, three major reasons. There are also other reasons where you could actually get uh, misfire, but I was consistently getting uh, misfire on cylinder six. Uh, so that implies only there are like three uh, reasons, uh, three components that could fail. Uh, one is the ignition pack, the second one is the spark plug, and the third one is the uh, fuel injector itself. Uh, but as I said, the symptom of getting the rich uh, gas smell, meaning like the injector is actually doing its work, it's just not getting ignited and it's just disposing the gas through the exhaust. So, uh, ruling out the uh, fuel injector, it ideally turns out only to be either the ignition pack or the spark plug. But again, uh, the spark plug, uh, uh, I'm at least like I would say it doesn't like go bad overnight. Usually the performance degrades and eventually it, uh, it goes off. In this case, just like uh, it was running fine till the previous night and the next day morning it just kind of like gave up and gave the error code. So I'm going to like mostly lean towards the ignition pack and I'll be starting the troubleshooting from there. So what I actually did is, uh, even before uh, ordering the pack, I took the ignition pack from cylinder 1 and spanned it with uh, cylinder number 6 and uh, I got the exact same error code for cylinder 1. So that almost implies that the ignition pack has gone back. So I just went ahead and like uh, bought a pair of like ignition pack uh, with the spark plug. Uh, again, I didn't, uh, this car is like 105k miles, so it's pretty much overdue to uh, replace the ignition pack and the spark plug. But even uh, the, before I just ordered the bunch of all the six pairs, I just want to make sure uh, the part uh, that is actually uh, works. So I just ordered that. And uh, let me just go ahead and uh, replace it. And let's see. Uh, the 52 non-turbo version. Uh, so the cylinder one will be the uh, one which is in the front. So it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six. And the six is going to be at the back side, almost below this uh, air filter housing. So I haven't really filmed like how to remove these panels, um, but the idea is like basically there are like it's an eight or nine mm bolt. There are like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once when you remove the air filter box comes off, and then you have to remove the top cover of the DME and the top cover of the brake oil. There are two connectors, one on the left and one on the right, and then uh, there are two more bolts uh, which actually houses the air filter housing itself. There are one over here and one over there. Again, it's an 8 or 9 mm. And then you slide the wiring connector. There are two of them. Just slide it. There are like no bolts or clamps. Just slide it. Once you're done, you have access to the complete engine bay till the cylinder number 6. And then you have to just remove the plastic cover. It's a Allen uh, uh, bolt. Uh, it's a hex bolt. Just remove it. And then you have access to the uh, ignition pack. Got the uh, new part today, the ignition coil and the spark plug. Yeah, I know I didn't uh, go for all the six cylinders. I just want to replace uh, the cylinder which is in trouble. Just make sure it actually fixes the issue. I just want to make sure that is a root cause. Uh, so let me just go ahead and install it and let me just go for a test drive and see if it really fixes. If it fixes, maybe later on in a week or so, I'll uh, order for all the six cylinders. Okay, so this is a new spark plug. Uh, pretty much it's all pre capped and you don't need to apply any additional uh, grease to it. So just let me just go ahead and uh, install it. I'm just going to hand tighten it now. And then later I'll be applying around uh, 18 foot pounds of torque.
done. <coughs> Go ahead and put the uh, new ignition coil. Okay, so right now the uh, uh, new spark plug and the ignition coil is installed. So um, what we'll do is we'll start the car, clear the error message, uh, go for a test drive and let's see uh, how it sounds. Just go ahead and start the car. So now let me just go ahead and like uh, uh, put everything back and let's Okay, let's put the casing back. Okay, so I have put uh, everything back. So uh, I also cleared the error code. And this time I used uh, tower cap instead of the uh, INPA uh, just to try it out. And uh, after clearing the error code, uh, I did run the car for like 20, 25 minutes and I haven't uh, got the error uh, back. And also the error is running normally as of now. So to conclude, uh, replacing the ignition pack with the spark, uh, spark plug actually worked. Uh, so I'll be just going and uh, ordering the remaining five pairs of the ignition pack and the spark plug. Um, anyway, like, uh, the, the, so this actually turned out to be much simpler than I thought. Anyway, uh, let me know uh, what you guys think in the uh, comment section below. And as usual, if I come across anything else interesting uh, in either in this 320 die or in my M5, I'll, I'll keep posting more videos. And uh, thanks for watching guys and have a nice day. Bye.